Ages ago, Jinjanzu and I were peers. Ever questing with goodwill, he was. His nature made him question the supremacy of us beyond mortal woe and grief. He deemed all souls could be akin to us. Why then do we tower whilst others merely kneel and offer? He asked. I told him the others are less than us. His misstep cast him back into the endless cycle. Reborn, he drew three disciples. But what did they change? One ended up a corpse, others fugitives. He too took to the shadows. <laughs> Pathetic. Those journeyers have misplaced their worship. Why bet on the Sutra, when one oneself can be a Buddha? Kneel before the Buddha of the future.
misguided souls like you. Enter within and find enlightenment. <laughs> Trickster called you too. This wicked sack is much more vicious than before, nurturing such evilness. Yellow Brow must have woven Wukong's strength into it. That bastard! Join me! Let's fight our way out. I remember what the fool and evil.
let go of the arms, they say. But can you let go of your devotion? <laughs>
focusing on them.
Behold my matter, feel your fall. How can my creation match its magnificence?
The destined one was a clone of the
or thou wilt never see shield. Behold, my matter, fear your fall. How can Mount Linshan match its magnificence?
this would end for you long ago. Keep fighting for others, and in time, you shall fall by their hands. I, Yellow Bro, fight solely for myself. Rogue stole my seed sack and fled here. With Wukong's relic, he made it a soul snatching vessel. He also took my look and my name to trick his old foes into vengeance. Hmm. Yeah, you pot belly! I should have figured out it was you! <laughs> <laughs> Forgive my little deception. Stolen once, I buy it. Stolen twice, I doubt it. <laughs> Your doubt is fair. I shouldn't have underestimated his nerve. I meant to subdue him myself, but you two were swifter. Fortune favors you, Bajie. But I see great potential in this young one. He might just be... Hmm? The right monkey. Enough of this empty talk! I don't care if Yellowbrow drowns in the lake. We can't have Wukong's relic sink with him! <laughs> For that, pray <sighs> lend me that rake of yours.
You tarried in the mortal world for a good while, didn't you? Speak clearly. Once again, I proved it to you, Jin Shanzu. You chose a means to an end, not to a proof. You sow chaos in hearts just for the sake of winning. How absurd and pathetic. <laughs> if not for winning, why debate over means and ends? That stone monkey merely named himself a sage, yet this altar boy dared to found his own faith and proclaim himself Buddha. Your faith is firm and will unwavering. You resisted his lures. All those who were high and mighty found their minds lost and their faith stained. But was it truly because of their devotion to Yellowbrow? <laughs> As you braved ice and snow, did the stench of shattered ego reach your nose? For half a verse of the ultimate truth, Snow Mountain ascetic gave his life, so attained Buddhahood. Such is the sole way to rise above all and build a faith. If those with talents should proudly scorn the rules and do as they please, how then may all the realms enjoy peace and prosperity? <sighs> Not a soul can fathom his mind. The journey entailed an arduous road. The monk had his disciples, and the eighteen Dharma guardians, the twelve zodiac deities, the five directional guides, and the four temporal overseers. Each boasts unique powers. Should your paths cross, strike up a connection. An edict for rats turned a son against his sire. Vowing to draw the line with the Augwais, he left his home in fury, never to return. Now an old grudge lands him caged, and he recalls his home at last. But with loved ones lost, where can one find home again? Shanu of the North, the vanquisher of Yaogwais. The Jade Emperor once ordered him to purge the world of evil. The Turtle and the Snake were his generals back then. Alas, the Snake General can no longer join the ranks, and Shanu is no more. My friend, not gold. Gold, my ass. My bones are cracking from lugging this load. 
Step it up. I gotta catch that feast on time. <laughs> Hear me out. They say that hag has a quirky ways. Each season she'd wed a mate and devour him. <laughs> Once our lady brought her a wedding gift. A mirror. A past echo. Which? The past echo. The lady often speaks of it with regrets. I wonder why. Let me finish, will you? The hag got the mirror and looked into it, and for no reason at all, she threw it away. That soured our lady's mood. She stopped visiting since then. Gibbering and jabbering. Couldn't even catch a wink of sleep this whole time. What? Who's in there? How dare you spoil the gift from her? Who does? No place to find peace these days. Hey, lovely. Why don't you come down and join us? <laughs> Leaving so soon? Why the shyness? <laughs> Looks like there's a dwelling ahead. Care to take a quick peek?
What could this be? Something I won't miss for sure. Shh. Wide road ahead. <laughs> Who goes there? There's a fruit I've not tasted. Thank <laughs> you. 